Today what we're going to be doing is cooking a steak. I'm going to show you how I cook a steak. It's probably one of the best ways that I've found to cook a steak. It's real simple. What we're going to be using is a, a large cast iron skillet. Uh, this is a 12 inch skillet. It's a, a pretty nice utensil for cooking just about anything. I cook a lot of bacon and eggs in these skillets, uh, but it makes a great steak as well. Uh, what you want to do is take and preheat your oven uh, to 350 degrees also. Get your steak uh, out of the package and washed up. As you can see, I've got mine laying here. Just rinse it off real good out of the packaging. And in my opinion, folks, the best seasoning that you'll ever do on a good mouth-watering juicy steak is just plain old salt and pepper. I just lightly salt and pepper each side of it. Uh, but once you get it out of the packaging and rinse it off, be sure and pat it dry. That's one good thing. That way you won't have so much sizzle and flare up in your skillet when you're cooking. But one way to test your cast iron skillet uh, to see if it's ready is get it on the stove. I, I set my stove on high and get the skillet. As you, you can't, well, yeah, you can probably see a little bit of it there. It's starting to smoke a little bit. But one way to test a skillet to see if it's ready once it's hot, it just pour just a little bit of water in that, and you see how that just sizzles. Once the water completely evaporates, you know your skillet is ready to cook. Now the reason why I use cast iron, cast iron is a skillet that will allow heat to uh, cook uniformly on uh, not only in the middle but all the way around, all the sides. It's the most universal uh, cooking. Uh, utensil that you'll ever use and I just love it. I use a lot of cast iron But anyway, once you get your skillet ready and you've got your oven preheated to 350 degrees You've tested it with water. You've got a little bit of water splashed in there It sizzles up and evaporates then what I take this is just a, oh, it looks almost like a coffee pot actually my mom had one of these matter of fact, this is hers and uh, all it is is just a grease catcher and uh, of course the only kind of grease that I use is the best kind of grease and that's bacon grease and uh, bacon is the best way to season uh, a cast iron skillet so once you cook a lot of bacon in it your skillet ought to be completely seasoned and and ready to go but we'll talk about that in another video hopefully but anyway once we've got our skillet ready we've tested it with water what you want to do is just take and add just a little bit of bacon grease in there enough to get it around on the skillet uh, folks be sure and use some kind of oven mitt or something like that so you don't burn your hands because these skillets are hot and we get our skillet hot cut your heat back to probably about medium high and then once you have that ready and your grease in the skillet just take and lay your steak in the skillet and you'll hear it start to sizzle and everything and what we're going to do here we're going to sear this steak for about two minutes on each side and uh, so just let your steak continue to cook there as you got it in the skillet for about two minutes and once two minutes has elapsed what you want to do is just take and turn your steak over and let it sear the other side look how brown that is how that looks right there but anyway you let your uh, you let your steak sear on both sides for two minutes and then once that two minute time is up what you want to do is just take your skillet off of the stove top and we're going to just add that skillet and steak and all into the oven in your preheated oven for 350 minutes or 350 degrees i'm sorry and we won't turn our stove off so we don't catch anything on fire. My wife would have a fit, wouldn't she? But uh, anyway, once we do that, we let it set in the oven for approximately four to five minutes. And once you do that, you take that steak out and you let it rest on another uh, paper plate or a towel or whatever. Just take them out and let them sit there for about four or five minutes. And once You've let those rest for about four or five minutes, then you can take and cut into it. And I'm going to tell you folks, it's probably one of the best 
mouth-watering steaks you'll ever eat. So just as a recap, take your cast iron skillet, put it on the stove, heat it up till it's real hot, smoking hot, drip a little water in it to see if the water will evaporate. Once it evaporates, then you want to take and add just a little bit of grease, your favorite oil, it could be olive oil or bacon grease. I use a lot of bacon grease because that's one of the best greases I've found that I like anyway, that's just my preference. And then once you get your skillet greased, you take your steak, you have your, onion, uh, your oven preheated to 350 degrees, and uh, you take your steak, rinse it off and everything, get it dry, pat dry, season it with salt and pepper, lay it in your skillet, let it sear on each side for two minutes to two and a half minutes, pull your steak, uh, flip it over on the other side, let it sear for two or two and a half minutes, and then you want to take the whole skillet steak and everything and put it in the oven and let it bake for about five minutes. Then you pull that uh, oven and steak out of the, uh, uh, the skillet and the uh, steak out of the oven and put that on a plate and let it rest for about four or five minutes. Once you let it rest, this is your end product. And folks, I'm going to tell you what. This is one of the best tasting, mouth-watering steaks you'll ever enjoy. But well, we certainly appreciate you, appreciate you watching this video. If you will, take a minute and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll be updating you and sending you more information as soon as possible. And we thank you and we appreciate you. Well, y'all have a great day and we'll be talking at you later. Bye-bye.